what is up guys Jeremy here and welcome back to another video we're gonna cover another dope app if you guys didn't know I do have a full series in the playlist link down in the description of really really cool or dope apps that I think are worthy having on iOS 14 so if you guys want to discover more really cool applications check out that playlist link in the description uh, but I am covering a paid application in this video and it is called Aurora so essentially what this app is, is a color picker app. It allows you to get color information, create palettes, and it could be very, very useful for some of you. Now these apps I like because I use them for things like uh, easy weather, um, as you guys can see here, like, you know, pinpointing certain colors, or if I'm trying to color match certain icon themes or what have you, um, I find these apps to be super useful. But like I said, this one is paid, but you are getting a banger of a color picker app. It is pretty, pretty sweet. So if we launch the app, it's really, it's really in depth actually. I'll try to cover everything about this application, um, but I just love the style of the application. Uh, the UI is, I think, amazing. So I'm just gonna kind of go through this. So first off, as you can see, we have a color here. It gives you the color code, it gives you the RGB, it gives you more information, it gives you the name, the name of this color is Laser Lemon, I think that that's really cool. If we double tap, we can actually change the color, as you guys can see, so this is just giving us random colors. So for those of you that are looking maybe for inspiration in a certain color, uh, you can just come in here and double tap and play around with the different colors that you get just from double tapping. Um, you can click uh, let's see here. Actually, we click here and it drops the color down. I don't know what the purpose of this is other than to see that it's coming out of pipes and that's why it has that liquid look. I don't see any other functionality other than just having a cool background right there. I thought that that was a nice touch. I like little quirky things like that in applications. Um, I think it makes it more interesting and fun to use. Something completely pointless, but it looks kind of neat. Um, but anyways, uh, so we have the kind of search button in the in the bottom here. There's three different tabs here. So this one here, you can you can open this color wheel, and you can choose a color. You have spectrum. You have sliders. I mean, you can you know create any color you want uh, from the search tab. Now, if we go over to the left hand side, this is uh, where it gets interesting. As you guys can see, I can use my camera to find a certain color as well. As you can see, this little box will change depending on what my camera is pointing at so if I wanted to get a real world color I can do that which is pretty neat you can also click the freeze button in the upper left and then it will lock that image in so it won't move around and then you can actually um, slide around with your finger as well so if you don't want to point your camera you can do that um, which is pretty neat uh, also if you want to pull a color from a, from a image and I think that this is useful, so I'll show you, you know, a way that I use this. So let's just take a screenshot here. Let's say I want to know what color that green is at the beginning of Tuesday. I can do that in the application in the upper right here. I can tap to add image, add the screenshot I just took, use the slider and go right over that green to figure out exactly what color green it is, as you guys can see there. You can click on the color, it gives you full range of all of the information. Apparently it's called sea green and it will create palettes for you based off of that color. So if you're looking to make a color scheme, this could be incredibly powerful as well as you guys can see here. You also have binary RGB, um, octal, decimal, CSS code, objective C, swift, related. I don't even know what some of these are. Like I, I know what colors are, but I mean, some of these things, I don't know, maybe for certain websites or something like, I don't know what related RAL colors are. I'm not sure what that means. Related Crayola colors. I mean, that's pretty cool. You have share options on all of these different palettes as well. You can save the palettes and I'll show you guys that now. So um, that's the full range of the color. Of course, you can share it and whatnot. Over here, you have uh, where you can save certain colors or you can create a palette like this is a palette of colors I just did as a test and of course full range, you know, you can add a color you can save image save procreate swatch So if you're using the procreate application, this could be useful as well um, Now I guess we get into the three little dots here. 
So if you click the three little dots, you have contrast between colors. You can copy all the colors. You can import hex uh, from clipboard. So if you copied a hex code from somewhere, you can just click on import there. It'll import the color. Um, you have the ability to import the Procreate swatch. So you can import or export through this app, which is awesome. You have the view RAL colors, view Crayola colors, view web colors, and view HKS colors. So there is just a ton of stuff you can do with this. But if we go to the search tab and we click these three dots, uh, you get more options, which I thought was really cool. You can view the details, you can add to a palette, you can create a series shortcut. And yes, guys, this comes with the ability to change the app icon. You guys know me and apps that do that. I absolutely love applications that give me the ability to, uh, to change the app icon. I think that's a big bonus when they do that. Um, and then you can also copy or just share. So full range of control, full range of, um, you know, full range of, of colors, basically. You can do anything with colors in this app you can think of. Um, it is useful for me, for the things that I do on my iPhone. And I just thought it was dope and it definitely deserved a dedicated video. So I will leave the link for this uh, application down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, on a side note, for those of you that are looking for, you know, you don't want to get a paid app, um, I do have a free one called Drop, and this one will do the same thing, but I think that the style of Aurora just knocks it out of the park. I like the icon, I like the name, I like the functionality of the application, I love the interface, and I think it's awesome. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this dope app. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up, that helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.